Sam Nug Dog. And we're the Crispy Boys. So this past weekend was San Diego Comic-Con 2018. And we saw a bunch of sick reveals and a bunch of crispy previews that we could expect to be hitting shelves over the next couple of years, man. My nugs are pumped, bro. What about you, Nasty? Yo, Nasty. Yo, what the freaking crap, bro? You left me hanging in the intro, man. You look freaking blasted, bro. How shredded are you right now, man? Nasty. You look like freaking Shreddy Krueger, bro. Straight Shreddy Mercury, this guy. Are <laughs> you tripping, bro? Hey, man, you tripping? Hey, are you tripping, bro? Hey, nasty. Are you tripping, man? Fucking dick cheese. Are you tripping, man? All right, man. Let's kick it off proper, though, by starting off with some Marvel Legends. And first up to bat... We got the highly anticipated, long overdue, we got Professor X in the hover chair and rocking the green suit, man. Finally, man, and this figure is looking sick. He's got those signature Prof Ecky's eyebrows, man. Check out the brows, Nasty. Now, my boy Nasty, he's an eyebrow guy, but he's got mad respect for some brow, bro. How you like that brow? You feeling those brows, man? Another highly anticipated, long overdue figure. We got a kingpin build a figure. This guy looks massive. This guy looks dope. Look at my boy Wilson Stunt. Look at him. He's rocking them slick gators. Check out the gators, nasty. He's got the pinky ring, the dope cane with the diamond knob. Check out the alternate head, too. He's got that pissed off face. And then he's got that meme mugging, straight boss face, man. This one's gonna be sick. This one is well worth the wait, in my opinion. So Hasbro's finally given us a gambit figure. Now, me and my boy Remy, man, we go way back, bro. So I don't really know how I feel about this figure right off the bat. The hair is kind of wonky. I hate that jacket design, but probably have a different opinion once I get him in hand. But, you know, happy to get him regardless. What about you, Nasty? How you feel about this Gambit? So part of that uh, Legendary Riders kind of series, we're going to get a Deadpool on a tricked out Vespa. So reissue Deadpool, got a couple new accessories, new head looks like. Coming with Dog Pool and Squirrel Pool, so this is definitely a fun one. Definitely stoked for this one. And a crispy release that caught me by surprise, we're getting that Archangel Deluxe kind of figure. So we got Archangel with his chromed out wings. We have four different heads for the figure. And we're also getting an accessory piece for the Apocalypse Builder figure that just recently came out, so we got a claw clamping hand. This is definitely a cool idea that they're doing kind of a deluxe type figure, so this one's definitely gonna be a fun one. Definitely hope to see more kind of figure releases like this. We also got a look at the uh, Black Panther movie wave, wave two. So this one's really cool, it's all movie figures, even a movie builder figure, M'Baku looks sick. Another army building opportunity with the Dormelage coming with multiple heads. Now with that claw figure in that wave, I'm seeing a lot of potential to make kind of like a haggard J. Jonah Jameson because he's got the sleeves rolled up, tie kind of loose. I think it would go good with that screaming, angry J. Jonah Jameson head that they gave us with the chameleon. So that'd be cool to make kind of like a haggard, pissed off J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, dude. So we finally got a peek inside that Days of Future Past Wolverine and Sentinel box set. And just like expected, just going to be a redecoed Wolverine and a different paint scheme on the Sentinel. Curious to see the price point on this guy, but definitely still cool to see this on the shelves. Mwah. And then we get another re-release. This one's a really cool one. We got Magic. This is going to be a Walgreens exclusive. So this was an SDCC release years back. And now they're re-releasing it as a single Walgreens exclusive release. Coming with a lot more accessories, different boots on the figure, and slightly different paint deco. So this is great for the people that weren't able to scoop it up at the convention and didn't want to pay crazy scalper eBay prices. So this one's definitely a come up. So we're getting another Black Cat figure, which is kind of cool. Looks like for the first time, we're going to get a Silver Sable figure. Figure. always love seeing Hasbro tackle legends that we haven't seen in action figure form yet so this one's sick also for the first time ever we're gonna get Skullbuster from the Reavers so that's sick that's always cool Hasbro's giving us another team that we could start building so excited to see the other figures they're gonna give us and that new Hercules figure looking extra beefy what's up ladies and they showed us the next vintage wave that's coming out we're gonna get classic ant-man and then we're getting a blue wasp so this is really cool this is a throwback to the old toy biz that super rare elusive blue wasp definitely see somebody using that for like an april o'neill also part of that wave we're finally getting a classic vision and a classic hawkeye so that's awesome as well and then they're also repackaging in scarlet spidey with the hoodie and we're gonna get an unmasked head. So at the end, they threw a couple little teasers out at us, and it looks like here in the near future, we're finally gonna get a classic mystique. Oh yeah. What do you think about that, Nasty?
Wait, wait, did you see that select rogue, bro? That shit looked pretty tight, man. That's a May shelf sculpted figure. The head sculpt looks sick. I love the hair on that. And she's got a bunch of articulation, man, especially for a select. Looks like she had double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, came with a bunch of different hand accessories and come with parts of the danger room like some of the other X-Men figures. And I hope someone has the balls to shrink her head down to Marvel Legends size. That would be a really cool head to put on the Marvel Legends robe. So what's up, bro? What you want to talk about next? We got NECA, Mezco, Black Series. Jeff Goldblum? Man, fuck Jeff Goldblum, man. Now I saw it, man. They're coming out with that Ian Malcolm figure from JP, bro. I mean, yeah, I guess that's cool. I'll buy it. Yo, how about figure arts dropping the Hercule Satan on us, man? I didn't expect to see that, bro, for a long time. Yeah, dude, he looks straight sick, bro. Great sculpt. The accessories they show look sick. He comes with a little puppy, a couple alternate heads with that ridiculous, like, surprise Hercule face. Man, I can't wait to see what else they pack in with him, man. And like my boy Captain McKay says, once he comes out, man, he's gonna be contender for figure of the year, man. Oh, you know, dude. Yo, dude, so NECA's making some big moves this year. So with Toys R Us out of the picture, looks like Target's kind of sliding in and picking up some of the slack. So they're gonna start carrying more NECA figures at Target. So it looks like they're gonna merchandise a whole bunch of new products now. So that's great. Great, man that's i think starting in early august now for the NECA releases so let's kick it off right man let's talk turtles man we might be crispy boys on the outside but deep down we're turtle boys so on display they had a turtles in time leatherhead and old leatherhead man he looked freaking sick and that kind of rounds out that four pack so now we got leatherhead we got Slash, we got General Trag, and Lieutenant Granador. So that's going to be sick. It's going to be cool to see what accessories these guys are going to come with. And Rando was saying, you know, they're going to be doing more and more Ninja Turtle baddies. Fan favorite characters. That could only mean, you know, like Casey Jones. Characters like that. I could see that happening, definitely. And he said they're going to be tackling more stuff from cartoon, video games, to movies. And, you know, these aren't just going to be con exclusives. They're definitely going to have con exclusives still. But he said they're going to try to do store exclusives and general release stuff too. So if you're a Turtle fan, if you're one of them real Turtle boys, there's going to be some great things on the horizon coming from NECA. So the old crispy boys are fired up right now. So in more NECA Turtle news, looks like we're getting a quarter scale foot soldier. Now we don't really mess with the quarter scale figures. But that's always a first sign of what we're going to see in the future. So, you know, down the line, we're going to get this guy in the six or seven inch scale, probably in a four pack with three foot soldiers and a movie shredder. So, you know, he's looking sick. So it's going to be cool to see these figures get scaled down and probably be like a con exclusive here in the future. And my boy Rando finally came through. Looks like we're getting a John Connor. We've been waiting a long time for this John Connor figure. And the cool thing is check out those hands. We're definitely getting him with the dirt bike. And Rando said he's coming with a bunch of accessories so he's gonna have the dirt bike probably a slew of accessories and who knows we might even get that red-headed mullet kid from salute your shorts to be riding bitch on the back of his dirt bike NECA's done crazier shit I mean come on they're coming out with golden girls figures these look cool but what the fuck man <laughs> hey but for real though but Sophie is a sleeper man I'd smash that you nasty you smash yeah, I'd smash bro those little crazy ones man Finally, NECA got the Halloween license back. We're going to see an updated Michael Myers action figure. Now we can finally kind of round out our iconic horror baddies. This is going to be amazing. Yo, dude, what about the Gremsters, man? We're getting some sick Gremlins figures from the original movie. We already knew about that one Gremlin coming out. He's going to come with the popcorn bags, the candy, the beer, the soda, the stoke. So that's a cool army builder. But now we're also getting a stripe from that movie. He's coming with the skateboard, the electric chainsaw, and a saw blade. He's got real kind of fluffy hair. They also had a display play with a bunch of other gremlins so it looks like we're gonna get more accessories for these gremlins now all we need is a phoebe cates figure yo where's that phoebe cates figure at rando rando bruh <laughs> bruh yo dude but how random is that ace ventura figure i didn't see that coming at all but you know i guess ace is looking pretty tight you know he's gonna be that cloth eight inch kind of figure come with some cool accessories but man you throw some karate kid at me we're talking a whole nother story man so they showed a mr miyagi they showed that punk ass danny larusso so it looks like we're gonna get you know street clothes danny and then danny and his gi and then my boy my boy johnny lawrence we're getting him in a straight up cobra kai outfit that crispy kai gi and we'll be getting a skeleton johnny too even though the kind of eight inch clothed Mego kind of figures. These are still definitely pretty cool. So the real Karate Kid news is from the random company called Icon Heroes. 
Looks like we're getting some six inch scale action figures. And these kind of remind me of articulated icons a little bit if you look at the articulation breakdown and everything. So we're getting my boy Johnny in his crispy Kai Gi, extra hands, super articulated. And then we got your punk ass Danny LaRusso with his little bonsai tree, his bullshit little chopsticks, his bullshit little cheater trophy. But these are definitely a must grab. You know, I'm gonna army build those Johnny Lawrence figures and make a whole Cobra Kai army, man. Cause the crispy Kai army, we be running deep, bruh. Yo, uh, Nasty, you see that Hellboy figure? I think it's from a toy company called A Thousand Toys. He's looking clean, man. That articulation looks amazing on him. Paint and detail, sculpt looks amazing. That great fabric coat, tons of accessories. So, oh, Big Red looking clean, bruh. What you got over there, Nasty? All that hot Chun Li from Storm? Bruh, she looking crazy thick, bruh. Ah, damn. How about that Wonder Woman, bro? Linda Carter, bro. She looking crispy, bro. So probably the sickest release that swept me off my nugs is coming from Mezco. The Warriors. Now, I've been dreaming about Warriors figures since I was a little crispy, man. Since I was a little tiny crispy, bro. Look at that, bro. We got Ajax. We got Swan. We got Baseball Furies. This is the fucking nectar right here, bro. Now, I'm gonna still say the clothing for me isn't on point. Still Mego-esque. I'm gonna give it to Mezco, you know? These will be probably the first 112th collective figures I pick up. So let's end the releases on some Star Wars Black Series. Only a couple of them I was really stoked on. From the Han Solo story, we got Rio Durant. This figure looks super crispy. I loved this guy in the movie. His design and his personality was so cool. And then also from the Solo movie, we got L337. And she's looking amazing too. And this is one of the ones that I love the design. And I was hoping they'd come out the figure. I just want to army build these. I really enjoyed the design of this character. So we've seen the Dengar before. They showed him off again. So hopefully he's coming soon. Add him to the Bounty Hunter squad. That pretty much covers all the stuff we're stoked on that we've seen at SDCC. How you feeling over there, Nasty? Overwhelmed? Are you just shredded, bro? You, you still just shredded, right? Yeah. Shreddy Prince Jr. Yeah. All right, little crispy. So before we go, we're going to read a couple of fan questions. And if you guys have any questions for the crispy boys... Definitely leave some comments down below. So our first little crispy question comes from our boy Michael Wisman. So Michael asks, would the crispy boys rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? Now, first of all, Michael, I saw all I did. And second, great question. So ducks are fucking nasty, dude. All birds are fucking gross. Feathers are nasty. So one giant ass duck the size of a horse, that's just fucking gross, dude. So hell no, I ain't touching that thing. Now the 100 duck sized horses, now I don't know if I'd want to fight them, but I definitely want to ride a couple of them and play with them. I'd give them all sweet names, and then we could just be a crispy little mini horse crew. What about you, Nasty? What you claiming, man? Giant ass fucking demon bird, or a bunch of little crispy horses, bruh? So our next question comes from Pookie Double O H Behave, and he asks, Crispy boys, who would win in a fight? A boneless wing, or a chicken nugget? Well Pookie Double O H Behave, first of all, a saw, dude. And second, there's no way a boneless wing could ever take down a crispy boy, bro. Boneless wings are whack, bro. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna wing it, man, you gotta go full wing, bone and all. No boneless wings, bro. Oh, dude, we got a live caller. Buzz him in, bro. Oh, saw, a little crispy. What's your name, dude? Um, Buster Nuggles. All right, little Buster Crispy. What's your question, dude? So. Um, what's your favorite Marvel legend? First off, a saw, dude. Second, don't come in here with that bullshit question, bro. You're better than that, little buster, dude. Hit me again. Hit me again, dude. Um, okay. How about if you had to pick Phoebe Cates from Gremlins or Phoebe Cates from Fast Times at Ridgemont High? Okay, first off, saw, dude. Second, Oh, dude, little crispy. Great question, dude. I'm going fast times, dude. What you got, nasty? Yeah, dude. You know, see? Yeah, you know. All right, little crispy. We'll catch you later, dude. Catch you later, dude. All right, that's all the time we got today. Hope you guys are stoked as we are on all the SDCC crispy releases. If you got any questions or comments, leave them down below, and we'll see you guys next time. Damn, nasty. You're still shredded, bro.